Yo, what's going on guys? x Rayok here. Today what I'm going to go to guys is going to be something a little bit different, something I have never done in this channel. And uh, first of all, before we start, I want to go ahead and apologize for not uploading in a while. Uh, my life, my personal life has uh, gotten a couple of things to do that have kept me pretty occupied, so I haven't been uploading, but I promise I'm back and I'm going to be on my grind again. And uh, just again sorry for not uploading but i'm back and i'm gonna be ready for fifa 22 when it comes out but moving on the point of this video is gonna be is fifa 22 worth it from a Concacaf perspective so from liga mx and mls perspective i've seen a lot of these videos done and uh mostly people concentrate on the european uh competitions and stuff like that which is fifa is really good if you really enjoy to do the champions league the conference league now the europa league but uh, for us, the little guys over here, the CONCACAF, uh, as you guys know, that's what I make my entire content on. So I thought it'd only be fair that I do my perspective on it. And is it going to be good? Is it not going to be good? So let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is the CONCACAF Champions League. As you can see by the thumbnail and the picture, uh, it's not, I don't think it's going to be on FIFA 22. It, nobody has said anything. Nobody has confirmed it. If it is, then that is a massive props and uh that's gonna be amazing for the game we haven't had it we've never had the CONCACAF champions league and uh there is a mod for it i showed off the mod i'll leave that video linked in the description but here's a picture of what it could potentially look like so as you can see in the pictures it it looks pretty good and this is from a mod so there's no reason ea sports shouldn't be able to do it here let me go ahead and show you they have put in the conference league the entire conference league and they can put in the CONCACAF Champions League. It cannot be that hard to make a competition where Liga MX face off against MLS teams. I don't care if it's five MLS teams against, what, uh, four Liga MX teams. It literally is not that hard. It can be four teams and four teams. Just whoever makes the semifinals will qualify for the competition. But they just don't want to do it. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, there's really no reason not for it not to be there. And it kind of makes MLS and Liga MX career remote super repetitive. Uh, there's no end goal to them like for example when you play european uh competition uh you play the premier league and your goal is to take that team and win the champions league right that's the ultimate glory but there's not a champions league for uh mls or liga mx which makes absolutely no sense there's no reason for that to be a thing especially now that we have literally uh the european competitions have everything we have the libertadores the sudamericana uh there's even a nation's cup just give us a generic cup it doesn't have to be anything fancy uh, the champions league so it's kind of a slap in the face every single time a new fifa comes out and that's not added on it's literally just a knockout tournament it cannot be that hard to add but uh i mean that's really annoying and that comes together with the league's cup of course that's just the other four teams that didn't qualify to the CONCACAF champions league that one i kind of get since fifa doesn't really have a license for it it's more of a it's more of the of the broadcast the tv producers really made that cup just for money so i kind of see that one and then the other thing that i would like to see included is a club world cup because i don't know if you guys know but uh i think most people would know if once you win the champions league the concaf champions league you get a shot at a giant european champion or a, the libertadores winner so the whole point of winning the concaf champions league is so you can go to the club world cup which should be added to fifa 22 uh, hopefully it's on there uh if not i'm gonna be kind of angry it's already been so many years and it's the only point Liga mx would want to win the concave champions league although it is a big trophy to win uh, there's no point to it unless we can go up against a giant we saw tigres face off against Bayern munich last year in the final we saw monterrey face off against liverpool we've seen america face off against uh, real madrid uh that's really the entire point of winning the CONCACAF Champions League, you get a shot at these giant teams from uh, Europe, the Champions League winners, and a shot at the Libertadores winners. So it really proves ourselves. So that's the whole point of a uh, of a career mode here in uh, Liga MX. But uh, it's nowhere to be seen. Nobody has said anything about it. And nobody's asking for it, which absolutely sucks for us, bro. Because the CONCACAF, we have nothing, bro. We don't have anything. We have our league. And that's the bare minimum, bro. That's all we have, which is beyond annoying to me. So we don't have... Liga MX doesn't even have the Liga MX Cup. We just have the Apertura de Clausura. And that's it. You play the seasons over and over and over and over and over. And then MLS, same thing. You do have the Open Cup in the MLS, but it's against the same teams. It doesn't make a difference. There's only one division. 
and then you play the MLS over and over and over and over and over, where there's no absolutely no point to it. You never get to face anybody from Europe, from South America, nobody from Liga MX or MLS, vice versa, which is beyond annoying. There's no reason for that not to be a thing. The second point I want to hit on is the CONCACAF Gold Cup. I don't know if you guys know this, but if you manage uh, the national team for either Canada, Mexico, or the United States, when the World Cup in FIFA rolls around, you know what happens? You know how South America has qualifiers, uh, Europe has qualifiers, Asia has qualifiers. It's at random for uh, North America, for CONCACAF nations, it's at random. So either Canada and USA are going, or Mexico and USA are going. So it's literally, it doesn't matter what you do, it's completely random, which is the dumbest thing ever. So at least give us a chance to play against Jamaica, uh, USA, Mexico, and Canada. Just make it a Final Four, make it the nations that you put Honduras in there. Which is, it's really dumb that we don't have these things. We shouldn't even be asking for this. These should be a default for us. But uh, here we are. We don't get any of these. Can you, that makes no sense to me. And we really need to start asking for them a little bit harder, I think. Uh, the third point I want to make is stadiums are literally non-existent in Liga MX. There's Azteca who was, that was licensed like in 2012. And they literally have the same exact stadium. Azteca has been updated in uh the nfl games in madden i'll put a video on it, a little clip on it see how beautiful it looks in uh in nfl or in madden and then it absolutely blows in uh in fifa which makes no sense fifa should have the updated graphics should look better but uh it doesn't at all the stadiums of mls are pretty nice uh hopefully they're at the bank of california which is uh i believe the lafc uh stadium i think it's bank of california i'm not too sure and then they are adding the Volcan and Liga MX. So that's a huge plus. I'm very happy to see that. Finally getting some more stadiums in there. So um, I'm, I'm going to hold off on that. And plus, now they're giving us a chance to edit the stadiums. I don't know how it's going to be. Hopefully it's good. If it's good, massive props. So we can actually get a couple of the, of the stadiums. Kind of make them what they look like in real life. Although we don't have the real stadiums. Which is really, really annoying. Because some other leagues are literally licensed all over the place uh both liga mx and mls are licensed so i don't see why you can't get these things and uh hopefully we get some more face scans i know there's a couple of players that have come into the liga mx that will have their faces scanned and they'll be carried over but besides that i don't think anybody's getting their faces scanned i know uh chivas is a partner and they don't have any faces absolutely not even one face scanned i think they might only have Oribe peralta which is like 37 now so it really doesn't make a difference and then the last topic i want to hit on is uh create a club and how it's going to help us here especially here in the mls and liga mx finally finally we can create those clubs that were either relegated uh for liga mx of course uh chapas atlante uh teams like that that were super excited to be back into the game hopefully we can edit them hopefully we can make them look similar and for mls we can make usl teams which i'm excited about at least there's going to be a little bit more variety in there so hopefully that goes well for us but all in all fifa 22 is looking like the same old game exact same copy from fifa 21 for us here in coca cola it's not the same in europe it's not the same in south america they get features we don't get anything bro it's going to be the same exact game uh, there's gonna be no CONCACAF Champions League. If there is, I'm gonna shut the hell up for the rest of the year. If there's a CONCACAF Gold Cup, I'm gonna be super excited. I'm finally gonna be happy. But as it stands, nothing is confirmed. And uh, we're absolutely scummed again, like last year. So we literally get nothing. And uh, they still get our $60, which is absolutely amazing for us. But uh, let me know down in the comments if you're gonna be purchasing FIFA 22. In my opinion, it is not worth it to answer. Uh... To answer the question of the title, it's definitely not worth it. Am I going to be buying it? Yes, I'm going to be buying it.